الحمد لله كالذي نقول وخيرا مما نقول أحسن كل شيء خلقه فالكل بالعناية مشمول أعطى كل شيء خلقه وكل أمر إليه موكول له في كل أمر حكمة وإن ذهلت عنها العقول نحمده تبارك وتعالى حمدا هو بالثناء عليه موصول ونرجوه العصبة من الحرام في كل مشروب ومأكول وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الحي الذي لا يموت ولا يزول شهد لنفسه بالوحدانية وشهد له الملائكة والعدول لا يسأل عما يفعل وكل من عداه مسؤول لا يشغل شأن عن شأن وغيره عن شأنه مشغول لا يرد سائلا ودعاء الصالحين لديه مقبول وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله دعوة الخليل وقرة عين إسماعيل وبشر ابن البطول شفي المريض بريقه وبلمسه نشت القصول قالت الأعراب والكهان بالظن فإذا هو بالوحي يكون له المقام الأوحد وقد أصاب المقربين خمول أنا لها أنا لها له مقالة ونفسي ثم نفسي كل الأنبياء تقول اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله وصحبه الاتقياء البرره وعلى من هذا هذاهم وسلك سبيلهم الى يوم الدين وبعد my dear brother my dear sister just believe just believe believe in what and believe in who believe in him i repeat Just believe. Believe in who? Believe in Him. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنَّكَ تَرَى الْأَرْضَ خَاشِعًا فَإِذَا أَنْزَلْنَا عَلَيْهَا الْمَاءَ اهْتَزَّتْ وَرَبَتْ إن الذي أحياها لمحي الموتى. Yes. It's among his signs and among his signs and among his signs is that you will see a land, the earth, barren, plain, dead. فإذا أنزلنا عليها الماء اهتزت and when we send water onto it اهتزت it shakes it stirs وربت وأنبتت اهتزت وربت you will see that it shakes it stirs and now you will see the vegetations, you will see the crops, you will see the greens, you will see the fruits. When before it was dead, listen to Allah. So now wake up and listen. You see the one who gave life to that dead land? Will indeed, no doubt about it, give life to the dead after death?
إنه على كل شيء قدير. Yes, indeed, absolutely. He has power over everything. So just believe. Yes, believe. If you are sick, you are not well, brother. Just believe in him. The one who gave life to that dead land and the one who will give life to the dead can make you well again. Just believe in him. He is Allah. If you are poor, believe in him. The one who gave life to that land, yes, can, can make you whatever you want to be. Just believe in him. He is one. He is the only one and he deserves to be worshipped. I bear witness. And I bear witness. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Allah's last and the final messenger of Allah. Brother, we are talking about the Prophet. So before we continue from where we start, take a gift from Rasulullah. Uh -uh. I'm not going to give you the gift if I don't hear it. Take a gift from Rasulullah. Mashallah. Brothers and sisters, Ibn Abbas narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the time of distress used to say, La ilaha illallah al-Azim al-Halim La ilaha illallah Rabb al-Arsh al-Azim لا إله إلا الله رب السماوات ورب الأرض ورب العرش الكريم. Memorize it. Say it. It is a gift from the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم. Whenever you are in distress, you are not feeling well. Things are not moving the way it's supposed to be. Make this your ذكر. لا إله إلا الله العظيم الحليم. لا إله إلا الله رب العرش العظيم. لا إله إلا الله رب السماوات ورب الأرض ورب العرش الكريم. This is a gift from رسول الله. I bear witness. He is the last and the final messenger of Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, is that. Last week, the continuation of our khutbah. هل تعرف الرسول؟ Do you know the messenger? We stopped at a point where we said the wet nurses came and took our beloved Prophet Muhammad, Halima al-Sa'diyya. And we said, if you remember last week, that's where we start, when she plays our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on her weak camel, on her weak donkey. The donkey started walking faster and now it is waiting for the rest of the donkeys. Ya Halima, ahadihi atamak. Halima, is this your weak donkey? Naam wallah. لَقَدْ حَمَلْتُ عَلَيْهَا غُلَامًا مُبَارَكًا I just placed a blessed baby on top of it. I just placed a blessed baby on it. This is the blessings of Muhammad. This is the first blessing Halima saw. And she knew that something was going to happen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Halima, like I told you last week, was very poor. So it's even hard for her to get the milk to feed her son, her infant. But when she took Muhammad, her breast milk became ample. She will feed her infant and the messenger of Allah until they were all full. This is the second barakah. They had, her husband had a widow Kamen, which they had lost hope on. And this Kamen, when Muhammad reached the house, when they came back, they went back to their village. And Muhammad now is in the house. Blessings is in the house because Muhammad is in the house. You know that. Right there, that week, Kamel started gaining weight and began to produce more milk. What's going on here? This is the blessings of Muhammad. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, of course, yes, don't be surprised. He is the last and the final messenger of Allah. 
So, 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 we continue quickly. And brothers, please forgive me if you were here from the beginning of the khutbah like two weeks ago. I said, when it comes to the, when it comes to the Prophet you just say what you can and leave the rest because he is Muhammad. You can never say it all. And due to the time, we will be skipping some stuff. But believe me, a lot happened. Yes. My brothers, after two years, while enjoying his blessings of Muhammad, it was a promise that after two years, you should take the baby back to his parents. Which she did. When she took the baby back to Amina, she convinced Amina, if you will give me a chance, I would like to take him back to take good care of him. To, you know, to take care of him more. She knows what, she's, what she wants and she knows what's happening over there. So she convinced his mother and the mother agreed. So she took our beloved Prophet Muhammad back again. She, you know, enjoying the blessing of his presence. And my dear brothers, one day her son wrote to her and said, my Quraysh brother is unconscious. Something happened to him. So what happened? They run. Her and her husband, they came and they found the Prophet said, What happened to you? He said, two men came, they grabbed me and they opened my chest and they removed my heart. They wash it, they remove something black from my chest and they threw it away. They said, this is the part of shaitan in you and they put it back. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is strange. What happened? You know, the, a mother, so Halima, she opened his chest to see and the teaching were still present. Uh -oh. And when she saw that, she said, I have to return this baby back. I'm scared. I don't want anything to happen to him. Taxi. Wait. Here or there? T7. T732231. C. Taxi, please. What color is it? Please. On Bristol, right? Bristol, please. It's Black, 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 black. Please, we move in, inshallah. Somebody wants to move, I think we double pound. Back love, you know. Mashallah, brothers. We continue. Brothers and sisters, she took the Prophet back to his mother, Amina, after four years. When he was born. So the Prophet was with his mother. At the age of six, when he was six, she took him to Medina to visit the family. Some of their families. On her on her way back, she fell sick and she died. Subhanallah. Now Muhammad is without a father and mother, the orphan. So his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, took him. After the death of his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, his uncle Abu Talib took him, taking care of him. Brother, my sister, a lot happened, but one day, his uncle Abu Talib took him on a business trip to see him. When they reached Busra, they met a monk, Uhaira. When he looked at the Prophet carefully, he said, whose son is this? Abu Talib said, it's my son. He said, no, are you his biological father? He said, no, I'm not. He said, I knew it. He's, he said, he is my brother's son. He said, I know it. His father is dead. Uh -huh. When he looked at him carefully, he said, this is him. I'm going to advise you. I want you to take him back to Mecca. Because if the Jews know about him, they will harm him. Do you know why? Because they know about him. They read about him in their scriptures. That's why Allah said, وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ نَبَذَ فَرِيقٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَرَأَ ظُهُورِهِمْ كَأَنَّهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ 
when the messenger of Allah came and they knew uh, they knew everything about him, they know everything about him, they knew he was coming. Allah said when he came, they acted as if they don't know. They acted as if they did not know. So brothers and sisters, it happened. And in his twenties, he started working, working for a woman, a lady, well respected in Mecca by the name Khadija, the daughter of Khuwailid. Khadija. She was called also at Tahira, the pure one. Khadija. She was also she was the princess of the merchants. She was very rich. Well respected in the community. She was a widow. So what happened? He started working for her. So you see, the best creation on earth worked with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, this is a sign. And if not because of the time, we can take many lessons here that yes, you should work and also always look for your halal, never go for haram. My brothers and sisters, Sometimes she will send them, and one day she sent him and one of her worker, one of her workers by the name Baisara on a business trip. When they came back, the business was so productive and they earned a lot. And Baisara told Khadija, if I will tell you what I saw about this man, whenever we are walking, if you look what is following us, and when the monks, when they meet us, what they say about us, there is something great about this man. When he told her that, and he, she, he told her about the honest, the honesty of the Prophet wasallam. He was so honest. She started thinking, I wish this man could be my husband. And brothers and sisters, yes, Allah decree later, he married Khadija, been to Hawaii. She was 40 and he was 25. Muhammad Rasulullah. And she was the mother of his six children. Al Qasim. She was the mother of Al Qasim Zainab. Umu Kulthum. She was the mother of Fatima. She was the mother of Abdullah. As for Ibrahim, he was the son of who? Of Maria. So he was she was the mother of his six children. As we said, Al Qasim, Zainab, Ruqayyah, Umu Kulthur, Fatima, and who? And Abdullah. Abdullah and Fatima. My brothers and sisters. Allah blessed them. The, 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 the family continued, you know, with much, much more blessings in the business. He started having good dreams. Good dreams. And whatever he sees in the dream, if he wakes up in the morning, it will happen. Just as he saw in the dream. This is a sign. And sometimes when he walks towards a rock, he will hear the sound of the rock saying to him, Assalamu alaikum. He will turn. Nobody. It was the rock. He said, Inni la a'rifu hajarun bi Mecca. Can the yusallimu alayya qabla al -ubad. He said, I know a rock in Mecca that used to salute me before my Prophet. So, brothers and sisters, he started in his 40s. Now he will be going to the cave outside Mecca, Ghar Hira, to meditate. And one day, in Ramadan, my dear brothers and sisters, here comes the truth. 
the revelation, the miracle of the unlettered messenger, the miracle of the unlettered prophet, the miracle, the ongoing miracle of Muhammad Rasulullah al Quran al Kareem, the first revelation of the Quran. He was meditating in Allah Hira. What he heard is Iqra. Brothers and sisters, it was Jibreel. Proclaim, read, recite. Ma ana biqari. I don't know how to read. He said, Fa akhadani fa gurtani. Hatta balagha minni al-jahda. Thumma arsalani fa qala iqra. He said, Jibreel caught me. Squeeze me hard until I couldn't bear it anymore. He said, and then he let me go. He said, read. I said, Ma ana biqari. I am not letting. I don't know how to read. Brother says, this is Islam. He said, فَأَخَذَنِي فَقَطَّنِ الثَّالِثَةَ ثُمَّ أَرْسَلَنِي فَقَالْ اِقْرَأْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ خَلَقَ الْإِنْسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقَ اِقْرَأْ وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمُ الَّذِي عَلَّمَ بِالْقَلَمُ عَلَّمَ الْإِنْسَانَ مَا لَمْ يَعْلَمُ The third time he said he squeezed me and he let me go and he said to me اِقْرَأْ رِيْهِ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ Read in the name of your Lord who created. Subhanallah. This is the revelation that proved to the world the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he said, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْأَفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الْحَقِّ أَوَلَمْ يَكْفِ بِرَبِّكَ أَنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ بسم ربك الذي خلق the one who created خلق الإنسان من علق لا إله إلا الله this is one of the proof that science is proving the authenticity of this book and Quran the ongoing miracle of the unlettered messenger محمد رسول الله خلق الإنسان من علق he created mankind from the clot of blood اقرأ ري وربك الأكرم ريد recite proclaim for your Lord is the most generous الذي علم بالقلم the one who taught my pen علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم he taught a man a human what he did not this is the five eyes the first revelation of the ongoing miracle of Muhammad. The ongoing miracle of the unlettered message. You and I, if I don't know how to read, if you don't know how to read, it's not something good for both of us. It's an insult. Excuse me. It's not a good thing. For a person to say, I don't know how to read, and I don't know how to write. But for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's an honor. Yes. Do you know why Allah made him that way? Because they will come and say he wrote the book. So Allah made him like that. He taught the world knowledge. He gave the world knowledge. Whatever knowledge they have, they are taking it from his teachings. And he did not know how to write. He did not know how to read. Because he is a miracle. Brothers and sisters. Allah al-insan al-malam ya'alam. Who is the insan here? Like I said, we don't have time. But you can see the inside, the man here is Adam, right? Maybe we say it's Adam. Because Allah said, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا And he taught Adam names of everything. Oh no, you can say Al Insan here is the Prophet himself. Wa'allama kamalam takun ta'lam. Allah taught you what you knew not, what you, what you did not know. Oh no, no. Al Insan is you and I. Yes, brother. Today, a human being made an aeroplane. 
Look at the knowledge given to him. Today, a human being made a cell phone. Today, a human being made a car. All these wonderful things. And at the end, who is the teacher? Who taught the knowledge? Allah. Brothers and sisters in Islam. After that, subhanAllah, the time is looking at me. Brothers, I will stop here. Because if I enter into the next level, we're not going to finish now. And some people have to go to work. So, like we say, we're going to be given piece by piece. Ila masha'Allah. I pray. May Allah give us long life to go more and more. I will start here, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Yes. Brothers and sisters of Islam, I will stop here. As we said, this is the revelation that shook the world. The book that Allah challenged the whole mankind and the jinn to produce the like of it, and they were not able to, and they can never do so. Allah said, Let them produce a recital like it if they are telling the truth. When they able, it consists of 140 chapters Al Quran. If they say Muhammad forged it, then Allah is saying, Abi Yaqulun of Tara, Abi said Muhammad forged the Quran. Bring ten forged surah. If you say Muhammad forged it, that means you can do the same because you are human too. Bring ten forged surah. When they able to, no brother, and they can never. Allah reduce the challenge. He said, Bring one surah. Fact to be surah. When he able to? No. Quran, as it was revealed, untouched, preserved, he said, Listen to a non believer. He said, La yujadu fi tarikh al risalat. A non believer said, La yujadu fi tarikh al risalat. Kitabun bakiya bi hurufihi kamila. Siwa al Quran, Allah bi naqalamu Muhammad. He said, there is, you can never find in history a divine revelation that remain untouched, not changed, except the book that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with, the Quran. Yes, my brothers. This is what we will start here and next week, inshallah, or when we meet, inshallah, we will continue. We pray that Allah give us long life because sudden death is happening now you see a brother now they tell you in an hour he is dead you see a sister or you speak to a sister in an hour or the next day they say she's dead so remember if they are dead we will die that's it i will stand here also i remember our brother sheikh muhammad his auntie passed away and that's his wife's mother at the same time he's asking jama for dua that means pray please say ameen may allah grant her jannah may allah forgive her allahumma ufin laha warhamha wa ya allah brothers you know anytime you pray for the dead ones you remember yours too we pray may allah grant them jannah allahumma ufin laha warhamha اللهم اغفر لها وارحمها وعافها واعف عنها واكرم نزلها ووسع مدخلها واغسلها بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقها من الذنوب والخطايا كما يلقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس. We pray may Allah subhanahu wa grant her jannah. May Allah put light in her grave. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we lost our brothers, we lost some sisters, our mothers, our fathers, all our loved ones. We pray may Allah forgive them. May Allah grant them Jannah. My brothers, it is time for when it's time for us to die. We pray. May Allah make your final word. Our final word. La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. And inshallah, 
one of our brothers is getting married today. And as I'm standing here, I can see him in the white clothes. You can tell this. The brother is getting married today. I pray. May Allah bless our brother. May Allah bless the marriage. Maybe after prayer, inshallah, I will call him forward for you to make dua for him, inshallah, to, 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 to bless him, inshallah, with your dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make things easy. Allah mahdina fi man hadayt, wa afina fi man afayt, wa tawallana fi man tawallayt, wa barik lana fi ma atayt, wa kina sharra ma qadayt. Allah marabana habana min azwajina dhuriyatina kurata ayin wa jalna al-mutaqina imama. Allah maya qadiran ala kulli shay, infil لنا كل شيء إذا وقفنا بين إليك يا مولانا فلا تسألنا عن أي شيء ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله إلا لله العظيم وصل الله ثم وسلم وبارك على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم ورحمكم الله